Hello guys, my name is Tassin and welcome to part 3. Today I'm going to show you how to pass data from your Android app to the PHP scripts and then how to use that data in PHP scripts and query the database with conditions. I'm also going to show you how to set uh, on item click listener to the list view and also going to show you how to pass data from using intent from one activity to another activity. So let's just first set. I'll give you a recap of what uh, we have already done. In this main activity, what we're doing is when we're creating, when it's created, it executes this all customer task and it goes to the, I mean, when this task is executed, it gets all the customer from the uh, that PHP script we have already, I mean, already shown in the previous tutorial. And once that is, once we got that, we will set that after to the list view and it's shown in the list view. In order for me to uh, to use the own item click listener properly, I need to have another uh, variable here. Uh, so it will point to the JSON array which is returned from us returned from this I mean this method. So I'll call call it as JSON array and when this is returned to us I'll set it. Right. Then we'll set the item click listener to this this view. Okay. So what will happen when any item is clicked? We will get the position. Using this position, we'll see which customer was clicked clicked. Because this JSON array and that the JSON array will pass to that after is the same. I have already a postal code. So what I'm doing here, I'm using this position. Okay. What I'm doing here, I'm using this position, getting that customer which was clicked from this JSON array, and then I'm using, I'm creating the new, oh, I need to show you how, well, I've also created the new uh, activity, uh, which is known as a customer detail activity. This is a layout for that activity. It has three text views and three edit text, where we are showing the information of the customer created the three private edit text variables and then linked them to these uh, to the, the corresponding views. So what this intern does does is it will go from this activity to the customer detail activity and it will also like here I'm getting the customer ID from this JSON object. Okay if I can show you So I'm getting this ID of any the, the person which was clicked and then I'm putting the extra in the intent and then starting the activity. So once this gets executed it will start a new activity and in here we'll get the customer ID which was clicked. Which should be somewhere here. So I'm saying this customer ID get intent, get the int with this key. If it's not not there, then set it to minus one. Then we'll also say if this dot i customer id is not equal to or maybe it's greater than zero then we know that we have a customer id passed 
correctly to this view. Okay. Now how to pass data from Android app to the PHP scripts. Note we are using URLs here. So we'll pass the data using URL. So if I show you what URL is, if you see here, the syntax of URL, it has a schema, it has a domain, and it has a path, and it has a query string. So if you'll read this continent on Wikipedia, you will know that query string can contain the data which is being passed to the software running on the server, which in our case is a PHP script. So it, you can pass the variables using the name of the, the key of a variable and then value of a variable and if you have another variable separated by AND. So what in our case we'll be doing, we'll be creating a new PHP script on a server and this is what we, I mean you should have it. I am passing customer ID as a So I'm passing customer ID as a key. This is a key of a, a variable, and this is a value of a variable. So in my PHP scripts, which will be stored on the server, I will check if it this is present or it is set. If it's set, then connect to the database. Connect to the I mean connect to the uh, SQL database, and then select all from the customer where the ID of the variable, I mean ID, is equal to the customer ID. And once you get that, then print the JSON and code, just like what you have done in the previous script. And if the ID is not present, just output that it's not found, or you can output another JSON array saying that customer was not found. Okay. So this is what we're going to do here. In customer detail activity, once in, once we have a valid customer ID, we're gonna query, I mean we're gonna connect to this PHP script and pass customer ID just like I've shown you here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm doing the same thing what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm gonna make another method here saying public json array because I'm passing back the json array get customer details and we need to be and this I, I mean this variable should be passed to this method so I'll copy paste all this because that's exactly what I'm doing so you can copy paste the whole thing the only difference will be that we are using the another PHP script which uh, the name is get customer details And then question mark customer ID is equal to the customer ID which is being passed to us. And the rest is the same. Now in here in the customer detail activity, we need to execute a cus I mean the async task so we'll copy paste the same because we have to do it in the background and instead of I'll call it as get customer details so instead of this method I want it to do this method and the customer ID will be this customer ID which will which is already set here. Hmm. 
and once we got the array back to us what we will do only a post code code here it is must have somewhere So in here, look, I'm getting the JSON object customer at point zero. So because I know when I will pass the condition, the customer ID, it will it will return to me a JSON array. Note, I'm saying JSON array with only one object in it. So I'm getting the last object, or you can call the only object in the JSON array, and then I'm setting the these edit text. I'm setting the text of first name, last name an age just like we have done in a, a active adapter class for the list view in here okay the only thing we need to do is once we have a valid customer id from the intent we are saying new customer detail which is this this task dot execute and we're passing the same API connector class to it so if everything is set up and hopefully it is we should be able to get result so it's executing I'm not messed anything. Okay, so I have I have it this this view. I'm clicking on one. So gets a new activity and then uses that uh, task and gets out of details. Okay. So once more. Okay, so thanks for watching and in next tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another two uh, buttons here. So actually one button here which says update so we can edit text here and then when you say update it will just go to another script and then pass these three variables with these key keys and then uh, we'll run another PHP script which will just query or ins update the uh, the entry and you know what I mean so thanks for watching and please subscribe if I can find this yeah.